Hi right, everyone, well, welcome back to Comic Frontline. Jay here with another review. Today I'm reviewing a Secret Wars title, Captain Marvel and the Carol Corps, number one. It's written by Kelly Sue DeConnick and Kelly Thompson. Pencils are by David Lopez. Meet the Carol Corps, the premier defense in New Holland. They defend their part of Battle World from many threats. Not everyone in New Holland, though, trusts the word of doom, as some think with a more scientific mind, but must do so in small private groups so they won't be sentenced to S.H.I.E.L.D. for heresy. But when Captain Marvel meets the new Hala Thor, Kit, she says something about the Thor's hammers being made by Doom out of the stars in the sky, which starts to stir in um, Captain Marvel for the first time, and she starts to question the word of Doom. Um, I really like this because I thought it was like going back to the way you know people used to think like you didn't you were told the world was flat and everyone believed that if you went too far you will fall off no one actually searched for it we just went by what we were told and it feels very much in that vein to where we don't know you know who to trust and who not to trust Captain Marvel always thought, you know, whatever Doom taught them was right, you know, religious ethics were true and anything else was blasphemy, but her core members are a little bit more the scientific mind, they research, they know, you know, they say, this can't be, there has to be something more to everything, and they start to go through it. And I really like that exploration of science meets faith. It's a very, this is, I think it's the first time that this was done in, um, you know, Secret Wars, that someone is challenging the faith aspect of it with science. And I really think it fits this. And I really like that it's women who are the science roles. Because so much we see men in the science roles that do these type of things that challenges the religious aspects of um, our mentality. But I really like that this is women who are doing it. And I like that how, you know, Carol is being awakened to this whole, you know, other way of thought in this. I give the story four and a half stars. The art was pretty good. It felt like a period piece with the art. I felt like I was um, maybe back in the 50s or something like that, you know, like the 40s. I felt like I was really in that period, even though I think this is supposed to be taking place now, now in the present day because of the equipment and all. But I still felt like I was in like World War Two or something. Like I really felt like I was back in those trenches. So I give the art four and a half stars. Overall, I really did enjoy this issue. I thought it was a great way for. Um, just to express different thoughts and opinions and how that shapes people and how, you know, people are so used to one way and they're drawn into them and they believe it. But then when you see something else or hear something, it shakes your faith. And that's what the story is really about. It's Captain Marvel's faith being shaken. You know, is, um, you know, the God Doom, all that he says he is, is what he says true. And it's, you know, very much like, is the Bible true? Or, you know, the Quran, you know, are they true? Or, or, or do you really just make it all up and this is what really is? So I really love that aspect to it. So for the story, I gave it four and a half stars. For the art, it gets four and a half stars. And overall, I'm giving this four and a half stars. And I say pick it up. This is one of the better Secret Wars books. And I really love it. I highly recommend picking up Secret Wars, Captain Marvel, and the Carol Quarters number one with four and a half stars. Well, those are my thoughts. Now I want to know what yours are in the comments below. Also, like this video, subscribe to Comic Frontline, check out and subscribe to my channel, The Comic Book Theater. Check out Comic Frontline, the site, for all the latest previews, reviews, news, and interviews. For even more news on all things related to comics, comicrelated.com is your source for all your comic book needs with daily updates. And don't forget to like and follow me and Comic Frontline on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. I'll include all these links in the description below. Until then, I'll catch you in the next review.